Well, just in case you're interested, and you're probably not interested. So, but I'm going to force you to watch this anyhow. It's fat. Time to get fat. Fat dragon. That's an order. That's not a question. Okay? And this is the fat dragon. It says so right here. Oh, now I'm confused. Nemo knives? Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> I love it. There's nothing confusing about the Chinese knife market. Not at all. It's just that you guys don't understand. Um, this is D2 at a 60 a Rockwell. Let's get ready to Rockwell. I wish I had a Rockwell machine right here. I could tell you whether this is 60 or not. And if I had a PMI gun, which you guys are too cheap to buy me one. Screw you, okay? It's lousy $37,000, okay? That's all I'm asking. Is that too much? And, uh, shit. Uh, I gotta go to a jeweler somewhere. You know a lot of these jewelers or people that buy gold and precious metals have a PMI gun, XRF analyzer, whatever you want to call it. And so, um, yeah. If I could do a deal, these guys are greedy. They're like, well, yeah, I'll shoot something for you for like uh, 50 bucks a piece. It's like, kiss my, you know what? No, that ain't happening. So uh, this, I mean, it was interesting because I, you know, I've done some Fat Dragon stuff before and it was like rich and fertile and fertile soil and iron cavalry and, oh God, I don't know, whatever, okay? And so, and the high-end stuff has tested as true. Like, uh, the Iron Cavalry was S110V, and yes, it tested that. That's when I had, that's when I had access to an analyzer gun. And then the M390 and whatever, and it's tested true. Whether this is really D2 or not, I don't know. Cuts like it, though, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, no, this is M4. This is D2, so... Yeah, I always like to cut myself. Is that, it feels like M4. No, that's D2 there. Just kidding. It's just always something, always something. Okay, so you know, that's just the way it's going to be. My hands are always cut up with shit. Okay, and this one's Alunium. Lunium, and guess what? I got mine on AliExpress, which, you know, some guys are like, I'm afraid of buying something from them. Uh, oh, they're, they're really unknown. These guys, Alibaba does more, more online sales of product than Amazon, okay? More global online sales than Amazon, plus the online sales of Walmart. You stack Amazon plus Walmart online together, and they do more, more. So, no, I haven't had my credit card number stolen from them, but I probably, I, no, I have had my credit card number stolen, but not from these guys, okay, from Americans that are swiping my card behind the counter or something, you know. Now, you can get these in G10 or Lunium, and I got this in Lunium, okay, and this backspace, is that Lunium? It feels like it, so we'll take it apart and take a peek inside but this is a good size knife and here's part of the attraction $31.99 you know if it had been $36.99 I'd have said no way that's way too much money way too much that extra five bucks just turned the tide for me no but I mean it was okay that it was on sale at the time deep carry uh pocket clip that's you know, mm, that, that's kind of nice. A wire clip. Can I flip it? No. And, you know, that's kind of interesting because most of the wire clips that you see, they're usually, it usually is to where you can flip them. I mean, whatever. But this one, no. Um, but that's okay because I'm right-handed as God intended. So that's fine. Left-handed people, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what happened in utero, but... Uh, it was wrong. Now, Fat Dragon, and what did it, what, KVT, D2, 4 millimeter blade stock, what is it? Oh my God, 235 millimeters, that's 23.5 centimeters. Is that correct? And 98, bullshit. 
I'm calling bullshit on it. Let me see. Let me see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. 98 millimeter. Hello? Here? Oh, no. Where is 98? 98's less than 100. That's, I mean, that, oh, shit. The cutaway is 100 and almost 102 millimeters length. Before you get back to this, it's like 107 millimeters. Am I... Am I dreaming? Am I in an alternate universe? Okay, that's four and a quarter inches overall length. That ain't, 98 millimeters is like 3.75 in that area, okay? This is BS, nine and a quarter overall length. 23 and a half, what did it say? Okay, well, that's right, 23 and a half. At least they got the millimeters of the overall length right. Big dog alert. This is a big dog. Um, that's part of the reason I bought it. Plus, it was 31 bucks. <laughs> you think I'm going to buy the uh, uh, whatever for like 600 and something dollars because it just come out? No. I'm going to go get me a $31 shooter. 0.15 at 3.8 millimeters. And 15 millimeters at six tenths of an inch. Six tenths of a big fat inch right there. Put your hands on that. You got something. And here you go, whittling away. So you ought to be able to get this on your strop or sharpener and shoot that baby right. Oh, hold on. Where's the give me a piece of paper? Oh, cut it away. Cut it away. Bombs away. Okay. Yeah, it's reasonably sharp. Out of the box. Hmm, nice little grind. Let's see what the plunge looks like. That looks reasonable. Let's see. Cuts, cuts. Oh, my God. Just war wounds everywhere. Yeah, that looks pretty fair. Uh, what's my lockup? Mm, let's call it 30. Let's call it 30%. Doesn't, I mean, it's not like ultra drop shuddy. It's got a little strength. You know, it does have that aluminum kind of feel to it when it drops. It's kind of that that muffled thud when that blade drops, and it's centered. Um, no lock rock, no blade play, which I guess is something you'd probably ask if you got a $31 shooter straight out of the Chinese network, right? And can you finger flick it? Yes, you can. Just like this. I'll bet it'll drop better after I put this thing back together. What do you want to bet? I'm going to guess. I think it's probably a midge over tightened on that thing. And it, it should be able to drop good enough to completely cut your thumb off instead of just part of it. Okay. And if you get your thumb up here. Ooh, that missed. Yikes. Hold on. See that? No. Yes. Yeah, so you... You might want to be somewhat careful. And you know what? Just as soon as that breaks away, that's over the detent ball. Where the hell is that detent ball hitting? Because that's unusually quick over the detent ball. So that makes it fidget friendly for sure, right? Wow. But I'm sure it's only, what do you think? 55 grams? You know, 1.2 ounces. Uh, here we go. It's going to 156. So we're going to be under six ounces. We're going to be like five and a half, right? Uh, ew, shit. Did I call it five? Did I say five and a half? All day long, baby. You handle enough of these, you start figuring it out. But you know, okay, five and a half, five and a half. And you got some grippiness here because you got all this shenanigans going on. And you got this too. Okay. What do we got under here? Eh, nothing there. It's weird. The cutaway is enough to be significant. So yeah, I'm not wanting for that to be any bigger. That's just where it needs to be. It doesn't need to be less or more. It's just right. And not perfect design flow, but blade to handle length's plenty good. Plenty good. So, I mean, I, you know what? I, at 31 bucks, I wish I'd have had enough income to get the uh, a G10 one, and I could have shown you both. <laughs> you know, I don't want to stretch the budget too far. 
Um, but yeah, I, I probably should have got a G10 one because it is a curiosity now. Uh, you know, even aluminum, like any other metals that are coated with the anodized what surfaces can scratch and scrape up, where the G10 stuff, I mean, uh, you know, it's there, it's there, right? I mean, you scrape that around and drop it on concrete, whatever. I mean, you may, you know, scratch it, but you're not going to take the color off of it like you would here. So you might consider G10. That might be interesting, and then maybe it would be a little bit lighter. I don't know. I mean, look at the liners here. They look pretty robust. And let me get my crazy crazy magnet over here, 3M. This thing will, this will pick up the entire planet. This is so powerful. But yeah, so you got steel liners in this dog. Um, and they're pretty robust, so that, that could be there too. Let me see if, nah, that's not steel. I'm feeling the liners, but I'm not feeling this. I'm thinking that's aluminum like this other is. We'll know more when we take it apart. Ergos are good. This is fine. This is, this is pretty straight shot here. So no, nah, I'm not feeling, I'm really not feeling this pocket clip that much. And I like this pocket clip. First of all, for the guys that don't need a super deep carry, this gives you that, okay, to pull it out of your pocket. And for those who, I mean, relative deep carry, and then the pocket clip, and then it goes straight. And so this slides over your pocket lip, but it doesn't do this. When you're trying to handle it, it's not jamming you in the palm. So it's not really intrusive at all. It feels pretty good. Reverse grip is, is comfortable. And there's plenty of room for your hand on here. Plenty of room. So love it or you don't. You know, I know it's a cheapie. Um, I take special delight in a cheapie. Um, so, you know, I go, well, why isn't this a $50 knife? And I, I can't answer that because maybe it should be. You know, maybe it could be. And um, so then if you get it for 31, you, you feel like, you, you know, you got your money's worth and flipper tab jimped, but it's muted. It's nice. Uh, detent. Okay, I could do that pretty easily. Let's see if I can do it regular way. Okay. So it's maybe a four. On my scale, it's not especially aggressive, and I can fail it. Okay. Um, being is how middle finger flick. I don't know that they missed it by much. I think they could have maybe clicked it up just maybe from a four to a four and a half, but I don't think I want to see this a whole lot stronger. I don't think it's I'm gonna accidentally just come out, you know, but. It could have been it just a just a knit knit stronger although here's an opening technique if you need it right um, so okay okay it is what it is I'm not gonna bark at it for that I'm but about a half a click stronger detent and see I don't know how the g10 ones are and that could be a different different kind of dog you know because when you go from these kinds of materials to a G10, probably with steel liners as well, then may maybe it is. Maybe it maybe it's changed. But all the plethora of colors you can get this in. So that that's kind of cool too. Uh, so what do we got? We got opening. I mean, we got a number eight on the front and one on the back. And this seems like it hit a stop here. Okay, let's see if this seems like it hit a stop. No. Okay, so don't get too aggressive. Even though it gives you an entrance on both sides, you wonder if it's got a flat spot. And now I'm going to have to back it up and look around the camera. Uh, yeah, it's got a flat spot, but it's really hard for you to see right now. It's right back in here, but I'll get you to it here in a minute. Um... And are these number sixes? Yeah, okay. Well, bitch and moan on that then. Um, it'd be nice if they weren't. 
Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, my, I, I can feel it spinning on the other side. Hold on. Okay, come on, break loose. Okay, give me... Um, Give me this. You know what? Where'd my little knife buddy thing go to? It's probably laying under some paper. I could have used that to break this loose. This was a little bit more aggressive in here. Come on. And you know what? I may need it yet. Where are you? Kick it around to the number six. Okay, okay, okay. You gonna do this? We can get it. We can get it. Because this gives me some leverage. Okay, come on. Okay, just had to do some fancy talking to get you out, huh? Okay, are these the same? Yeah, they're the same, okay. Well, if you're going to be a bitch, be a bitch. Um, yeah. Well, maybe this ought to all pop off regardless then. See? Okay. So basically, since we didn't get the screws out this side, they're holding on like crazy dogs. Um, but that's okay because it just pulled off with the backspacer intact, which is finer than fine with me. I don't give a damn. Um, okay. So I just got the pivot, and those two on the other side came off, so they let go, and yes, we've got bearings in, no, they're not ceramic, and no, I don't care, and um, let me see, and we got a flat spot, yes, we do, okay, so that's engaged, that's why when I first started turning it, it went so far and stopped, didn't over uh, exert on that. And yeah, it looks relatively clean. Uh, of course, these cut throughs here kind of skeletonized and do a little bit to lower the weight. And uh, let me see. There's our lunium. Now, um, okay, and there's our pin for the for that. But let's let's check this. Nah, it's not magnetic. Now, there's nothing magnetic, so I'm sure it's aluminum. It's definitely not titanium. It'd be my, my guess. But yeah, okay, so we're good there. So far, so good. Oh, that's not for the pin. That's just a placement here. Okay, that's not for a lanyard. Thank you, knife buddy. Thanks for helping out. Boy, that is coming in more and more handy. I thought it was just a thing. But you know what? This is actually, uh, because of this, it just, it helps me, you know, get this going. And that's why I've got fat handle drivers, too, because it gives me more torque. But this, number six, has seen better days, and I need to grab my packet of number sixes and switch out here pretty soon. Okay. All right. But lock bar, everything, set down, good. So why don't we just put it back together? I don't know. Let's do that. So we tried on the, oh, hold on. This wasn't clean. Okay, so we tried 
to open from this side. It didn't work <laughs> except the screws we had to take out from that side. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Everything bass backwards. Okay, now where does this where does this squared off hit? Okay, going facing back. Okay, face me back. And yes, we are facing back. Okay, we got our blade stop up here. It goes into there. And we need we need bearings and we need the juice. We need the juice. Okay, juice it up. Kick it on. Uh, more bearings. Juice it up. Let's see if we can get this thing to drop a little bit better when we throw it back. What do you think? Um, ew. That's ugly. Come on. Let's give it a little clean here. Didn't get that part. Okay. Bank. Now let's see if we can set that on the flat of that pivot if that will mate up I think it should okay are we okay I think we are I think we are let's get this part figured out first and then we got these but this is where the action is over on this side and we've got screws and screws and we got to get this lined up right here and right here and then um, these are number sixes, correct? You know what? It's easier to, to spin this for right now. Okay. Unless I need to bear down, and then I'm going to have to go back. Okay. Are you there yet? Okay, okay. Now you are. Okay, now what are we doing? Well, we're centered, but I don't know if I'm where I need to be on that pivot. Well, there's no play. Oh, much better. Way better drop. Oh, my God. It just follows you around now. Oh, yeah. That and the top tip of your thumb will follow you around after it cuts it off. Wow. That's, uh, woo, that's nice. Yeah, it is nice. All right. Oh, did I tell you? I tell you, I'm going to make it drop better. And it does. It drop way, way more better, Beretta. Way more better. Okay. Time to get fat with Nemo knives. Maybe it's Nemo the manufacturer, Fat Dragon Design, because it says, you know, Fat Dragon Design Agency. However it works, it works. First of all, big knife, not too heavy, fills the hands because it's reasonably thick, okay? But uh, beautiful design, I like it, ergos are good, and shit, the price is right. Hello, 31 smackers, what are you getting for 31, my friend? Okay, and you can get it in G10. Hello, and I'll give you the information. Did you see the, the seller? Because if you didn't, then I probably should have showed it to you, and I probably didn't. Okay, so this is where I got it from. Okay, so type that in, and how many people he got? He's got 1,151 people following his store, including me, okay? And then God only knows what are they. There's Fat Dragon again. There's other kinds of, it's all kinds of crazy. So. Welcome to Insanity, but I like it. It's all good. We love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.